You may know methamphetamine as the blue crystals created by Heisenberg in Breaking Bad or simply as its street names Ice or Speed. However, methamphetamine remains the second most used illegal drug worldwide. Prescribed in the 50s and 60s for weight loss in the United States, this drug is sold in many different forms, such as a powder, paste, or a crystal. Some ways to administer methamphetamine include injection, intranasal sniffling, and oral ingestion, leading to immediate side effects such as alertness and euphoria. However, symptoms such as extreme weight loss, dental damage, violent behaviors, and sleeping disorders are long-term side effects seen in many methamphetamine drug users. But what makes methamphetamine so widely used? Besides its low cost and availability due to its somewhat simple manufacturing, this central nervous system stimulant leads to feelings of euphoria through reward systems in the brain that reinforce drug-taking behavior. Although the complete mechanism of methamphetamine addiction is unknown, it is thought that addiction stems partly from the drug's rewarding effects mediated by sustained release of monoamines such as dopamine and serotonin from presynaptic terminals. This occurs through the vesicular monoamine transporter 2 that releases dopamine from the synaptic vesicle and into the synapse due to the reversal of the dopamine transporter which normally functions to uptake dopamine. That being said, it is widely disputed whether dopamine, particularly in the nucleus accumbens, is in fact responsible for the rewarding or reinforcing characteristics of methamphetamine. Perhaps due to the complexity of this mechanism, there are currently no FDA-approved therapies for methamphetamine addiction. That being said, there are some agents which portray promising results as therapies such as dopamine agonists like modafinil, methylphenidate, and bupropion, as well as opioid antagonists like naltrexone. Modafinil, a drug approved for treatment of narcolepsy, ADHD, and obesity, is a potential therapeutic candidate in treating methamphetamine addiction. It has been shown to have positive outcomes in relieving and improving particular withdrawal symptoms such as impaired cognition, fluctuating moods, and poor impulse control, thus reducing relapse tendencies. A four-week experiment showed that patients taking modafinil exhibited a reduced amount of positive methamphetamine urine samples, a reduced number of self-reported instances of relapse, as well as enhanced cognitive function, seen through the improvement of learning and memory. Due to modafinil's stimulant properties, which function to increase alertness, consistent use of this drug may result in sleep deprivation, which can induce many unwanted side effects on its own. Methylphenidate is another potential drug candidate, which diminished cravings and has also reduced depressive symptoms related to withdrawal. This drug, used for treating ADHD, mimics dopamine in that it binds to dopamine reuptake transporters, leading to increasing levels of dopamine in the synaptic cleft. A downside to this therapy, portrayed through a clinical study, is that methamphetamine use only subsided after 18 weeks, indicating that its onset of action may be longer than expected. Aside from a high potential for abuse, there are many negative effects associated with long-term use of methylphenidate, such as depression, disorientation, delusions, hallucinations, and lack of motivation. Bupropion, an approved, anti an approved antidepressant and smoking deterrent, has stimulant-like characteristics leading to reduced dysphoria withdrawal symptoms and cravings. Bupropion is a presynaptic monoamine inhibitor resulting in increased dopamine and norepinephrine levels in the synapse. Therefore, replenishing the depleted dopamine pools could explain the alleviated withdrawal symptoms after bupropion intake, making them less inclined to relapse. A downside to this treatment, however, is that these effects were primarily seen in light drug users and not heavy drug addicts. However, when combined with naltrexone, there was a significant response as seen with a reduced number of positive methamphetamine urine samples compared to the placebo group, suggested by a clinical study. Naltrexone works within the mesolimbic dopamine reward pathway by antagonizing the mu opiate receptor, diminishing the amount of dopamine that's released in the nucleus accumbens. The lack of therapies approved to treat the substance abuse disorder clearly results in an unmet clinical need that must be addressed by firstly uncovering the mechanisms for meth addiction in order to optimize the efficiency of therapeutic agents. It's time to find a speedy solution to this devastating addiction.